Hello, my ladies and gents. And today is a wonderful day. We are both well, and I want to thank you all so much for all the well wishes that you sent for Moosey and myself. And we are both so very grateful. In this video today, you're going to see mostly some fashion, me modeling some fashions, some things that came from my daughter Dub, some things that work and some things that don't work, and also some classic styling that might be more for you Eastern gals and Midwesterners where it's a little bit colder and you'll be wearing things like blazers and warmer clothing. But my Moosey just loves me in the classic clothes and the less is more jewelry as well. I like it too, but I love my boho too. So besides that, mostly fashions and a few little rabbit hole stories. Well, we just had a visit from one of our favorite son-in-laws, Bear, Barry, Dubby's husband. <laughs> uh, got some really cool shoes, Michael Kors. Woohoo! No, these aren't mine. What did you send for Moosey and I? Oh, we sent some airborne over. Thank you yeah. so much. You guys need some zinc. Yeah, you guys that works. You need to stay healthy. You guys take that all the time, don't you? And you stayed very healthy. Yeah, we've been taking it for Thank you so years much. when we travel and we've been taking it now. Uh, look at that. Look, that's a Ralph, a Ralph Lauren <laughs> skirt. Well, thank you so much, Barry. You Anytime. and Dubby take good care of us. Now, we did have a lovely visit from Dubby's husband, Barry. He felt that we should be taking Airborne, and so, typical Barry, he went out and bought us a couple of bottles of Airborne, and they're chewable tablets, which we will start taking along with our collagen, and he and Dub have been taking it for a while and they credit the fact that they've stayed well for so long with this airborne. So this video is going to be about some of the goodies that Dub sent over besides the airborne that was from Barry. But Dubby always sends me clothes. I think you know that. And she's a very high end, beautiful shopper. She is a, a high executive in a hospital and needs clothes. She has a lot of galas and meetings and has to dress this way. And I always get the things that she doesn't want or that didn't work. And this is one of the things that she sent over in the little bag of clothes. I don't know where she was going with this outfit, but I'll tell you about it in a minute. Now, I did do a little video of Barry and Moosey sitting outside and Barry made sure he didn't get very close to Moosey, although I don't even know if we're out of quarantine or in. I think we're well out of it by now, but <clears throat> He was showing Moosey some of the things that were in this bag, including, <laughs> I have the outfits out on hangers now, but they also included a brand new pair of Michael Kor beautiful leather flats with some pretty decoration on it. Now, whether these didn't fit or what, but they fit me fine. Fortunately, we happen to be the same size shoe as well. So it started with that. <laughs> And the, the Moose and Barry are funny about kidding around, but he was pulling things out. And as I watched, I hadn't seen these yet. I thought, hmm, some of these things look great. But I looked at this one and I thought, hmm. Well, Dubby was telling me that she paid quite a bit of money for this. She shops catalogs, some of them pretty high-end catalogs. And she said she visualized herself floating around in this beautiful lace thing. She said it reminded her of something that I made for my three girls. Or at that time, I think I only had two when we lived in Scotland. And we went to my brother's wedding. We came home to the United States for my brother's wedding and I made lace dresses for the girls. I'll bet Debbie was no older than maybe seven and we had four children at the time. 
And <clears throat> I made these beautiful lace dresses over silk satin slips. And I made the dresses out of curtain lace, which looked very much like this. Now this is beautiful lace, really gorgeous, but it was long. I believe a midi or maxi, some kind of an overthrow. And that didn't work for her. So she was telling me she cut it. So <clears throat> this is what's left. It's beautiful, it's lovely, and I have no idea where I'll be floating around in it, but this is just one. Now this outfit, on the other hand, is something to look at, and I'm going to model this one for you. Let me show you. This is a sweater that is more like a jacket, very lovely with a nice catalog label. I'll, I'll give you the labels. Uh, in the description box, but I love this. And I paired it with a, a black shell and a pair of black pants, which my pants are, by the way, from Walmart. By the way, they have a wonderful selection of basic black pants from Walmart. I would definitely suggest that. So. Isn't this nice? This outfit is a knit jacket with off-white sort of trim all the way down the front and then around the bottom of the jacket is the same trim all the way around the bottom. It would also be beautiful and I probably will try and model it with the off-white pants and an off-white shell or a black shell but a lovely jacket and for the life of me I don't know why she didn't keep this one. I love this. Now, I, I realize that a lot of um, my viewers are from the East Coast or the Midwest or the Mideast, you might say, and you are pretty much into a little bit heavier clothing by now. So I'm going to show some outfits that you might be interested in too. Now, the ideas that I give, some things are new that you can purchase somewhere. Other things are from my wardrobe that I've had obviously for years. You know, I was in real estate for many years. I also owned a, a business, a, a retail shop and catalog, and I also taught for many years. So I, I do have a wardrobe and we also lived in colder climates. We lived back east, we lived up north in California, and we lived in Europe. So plus we traveled quite a bit. So I I do have a lot of clothing that would be appropriate to wear in colder climates, and I miss that. And this is something that you might wear late fall, and I love the black. Now I've had the jacket, and I've paired it with my Walmart pants and a Walmart shell, thrifted jewelry, and a jacket that I've had for a long time, and one of my favorite purses from Walmart. So there you have it. I am a big fan of blazers and I will probably be showing you a lot of blazers. Now, as I look at that last modeling session, I realized that perhaps those um, um, black tipped white shoes don't exactly go with this one. I need a more sophisticated pair of shoes. And I've been wearing a lot of over the last two and a half years when we've been spending a lot of time here around the cottage, I've been wearing a lot of clogs and loose shoes. And you know what happens to your feet during that time? They, they probably swell. And when you try and get into your old shoes, they're not always comfortable. But one of the pair of shoes that I am in search of for this season. It probably will be the only pair of shoes that I will buy if I can find them. And they are trending right now and I love them. And it's a pair of pointed toe loafers, black loafers 
with a big fat gold chain across the front. And I think I saw them. I think, um, oh, I'm, I'm trying to think of the name that, that makes these. And I did see them. And I've been waiting, but I think I'm good. That might be my purchase right now. And I think those would look really beautiful with this outfit. Now, the jacket was a vintage pur purchase uh, some years ago, but um, everything mm -hmm. else you can find at Walmart. And I, I think that's kind of the way to go. The reason I show things from my, my wardrobe to you now is twofold. Number one, I have pretty much everything that I might need or want for the rest of my life, barring a few things that I might see, love, and get. But I won't be spending a lot of money on clothes. And I show you these because it will give you ideas on how to style outfits. Find a black blazer, either at a thrift shop or in one of the stores that you shop in, and, and use that as maybe your, your basic purchase. And then find the pants and the shell or the tee or a white shirt might be nice with this too, but I, right now I prefer this, this look. And look in your own wardrobe and maybe you can get that sense of how to put outfits together. And, and that's what I'll be doing for you this year. Now, <clears throat> I am gonna make a quick change and show you what this blazer would look like with a pair of off-white or cream colored pants. And I think I might leave the black top on, but you could pair it also with a cream colored shell, maybe a little knit shell that would, that would match the pants. And I'll do that now. You know, as I'm modeling all these clothes, my moosey is usually never more than 20 feet away from me. And he's sitting in his red chair right now making comments. And he loves me in these types of classic outfits. Of course, I'm sure you love me in my other outfits too, Moosey, but he's raving about this outfit and the fact that the jewelry is a little bit more subdued than what I usually wear. But I love my boho looks too. So let me show you this, and this probably is even, I think, a more striking classic outfit. Now, once again, wouldn't this be nice with those black chain loafers? And I remembered the name. The memory's okay, kids. It's just, sometimes it, it just skips me. It's Steve Madden. Steve Madden makes those loafers and I might go and get them. I also want to remind you of that black knit pencil skirt that I modeled in two videos ago in the garden with my boho suede jacket and my turquoise and silver jewelry. I love that skirt and I have worn it with the black blazer many times in the past with tall black boots that you can just see, you know, the lower portion of it because it is longer than midi. It's a, it's a nice length and I always love this with that blazer too. So remember the skirts look just as nice as the pants do. Now, in my package of goodies from Dove, I also received two captains and as you know we are a captain loving well captains i don't know whether it's that or a kimono maybe it's kimonos and as you know i've modeled many kimonos before we're a kimono loving family and dub sent this kimono which i'll just wear over my black and this is more of a it's a, a very colorful shirt it's not really a kimono because it does have regular sleeves and a button down. It's just a very long blouse that you could tie at your waist, which I'll, I'll do that when I model it, or just wear it long. And these are very nice for California, also for back east, or if you're working in an office or running off to the store. I love these, and I'll show you this now. I have bare feet now. I 
love the kimonos and this one is a very pretty color. Now, here's the shirt. It has the regular notched collar and a button down and cuffs that you can fold up. I think it's nice. Let me show it to you. What do you think, Moosey? Are those autumn flowers or is that Hawaii? Um, I don't think it's Hawaii. Very well could be. Autumn? What, what's the word? Autumnal. Autumnal. <laughs> now here's a way to wear this too. Very often I do take kimonos or longer shirts and knot them. And I think this is makes it just a little bit more, um, a little dressier or classic. Mm -hmm. I like this. What do you think mm -hmm. most? I like that look. Yeah, I like this look too. So kimonos are great and shirts like this too. Now I'm going to show you two more outfits of dubs. I won't model them, I'll just show them to you. I love them, but one of them just isn't working anymore. Okay, now these beautiful black sequined pants have a rabbit hole story attached to them. You haven't heard a rabbit hole story in a while. When we were all getting ready for the St. Jude Gala, the hospital gala that my daughter was planning, big, big fundraiser back in May, I think you sh saw all of our outfits that Moose and I were doing. It was a Roaring Twenties theme, and it was so fun gathering the outfits and everyone came dressed. It was so much fun. Well, Deb and I were always on the phone back and forth with each other. What are you wearing? What are you getting? And she would show me one outfit or another. Oh, look, I just sent for this. I saw this in a catalog and whatever. And one of the things that she, she did send for was these beautiful, expensive, gorgeous pants. Well, when she tried them on, she would send me texts and pictures. I said, you know, I think they're too wide. She said, and you know, I do too. I think I'm gonna take them to my cleaners. And and he's also uh, does uh, work of adjusting clothing. And she said, I've used him so much, he's, he's a good guy. And we both agreed that they should be straight stovepipe. Not really wide, but nice and straight, but not hugging the legs by any means. So she took them over and we thought, wow, this is the outfit for Dub. And a couple of days later, she said, uh-oh. I said, what happened? She said, well, I, I picked up the pants. I was so excited, brought them home, tied them on. And she said, they were too tight. The bottoms were almost hugging my ankles and they just didn't work. And she tried them on and you know, they didn't look right. Well, look how skinny they were. And it just wasn't the look. Now that, I don't know whether you get it, but they were tight all the way up through the knees and it was not the look for a formal pair of these pants. So she never wore them, sent them over. I'll try them on and see if they work, but you know, unless I made them three quarter or something, um, I, I don't think so, but I'll let you know how I did on those. So she found another outfit, looked gorgeous, and we proceeded with our fun. Ooh, you know, it's almost 100 degrees today here in California. So um, I, I forgot about my little fan. Remember that fan that I showed you? And I know a lot of you sent for it. I should put it on right now and oh, oh, does that feel good? <laughs> I know you all ordered this. This is also a mister, by the way. You just fill up a little tube of water in here and you can mist your face too. This is just an, a little interlude here. It's been quite busy with the fashion show. Now the other outfit that Dubby sent over with Barry, and I promise you this is the end of the clothes bit, is this, I thought, a beautiful Ralph Lauren skirt, still with the tags on it, never worn by Dub, but she saw it and she fell in love with it. It is very shiny fabric and it's accordion pleated all the way down. It's quite long, it's not to the floor, but it's a midi. And she tried it on and she said, you know, it just didn't work with me, but I loved it. And I love it too. You know what I decided? 
this would look good. You know, I'm not a skinny lady, nor is my dubby. And I think we have learned to hide um, some of the uh, particular parts of our bodies that we just, that just don't work in clothing. And I decided that to disguise that hippie look that you might have, and by hippie, I mean these guys right here, um, that to disguise that, maybe a beautiful, long, straight sweater, black sweater that would go down below the hips and the butt so that you would only see the lower portion of this beautiful skirt and all the pleats. And when I haven't brought any of my sweaters out yet, but I think I do have a couple of beautiful black long sweaters that might work with this, what my hair looks like at this point. So, um, so I'm going to try that and I'll let you know when it comes time to bring the sweaters out. Uh, not today, that's for sure. Now I know I had promised you a baking session with my Nordic cooking pan with those lovely fall cakelet uh, forms. And what Moosey and I have decided to do instead is to take that baking pan down with us when we visit our children in San Diego. We have some little ones that absolutely love to bake. And we thought that we would do this down there with them and then gift the two little girls the baking pan because I actually think perhaps Sabrina and Mikey and the kids would have more occasions to do more of that baking. And I know the kids would absolutely love to do that. So we'll film the baking session that we do with the two little girls because I know you're dying to see what those cakelets turn out to be. I'm going to bring the pumpkin spice mix and everything that goes along with it. Now, I also have a couple of uh, DIY projects that I want to do. One came from Dub, and it's how to make this fantastic ghost for your front porch with lights inside to light up. So we'll do that maybe in one of the next videos. And also a beautiful pumpkin as a, used as a vase with succulents growing out of the top. I saw that and I just can't wait to do it. And I put a little picture of it in the beginning of the video, but maybe we'll do that together too, soon. So it's been a busy week of, of um, <laughs> all sorts of things, but we, we are staying here. We're staying put here. We did have the lovely visit from Barry, but Moose and Barry did keep their distance. Moose is feeling great and we just want to thank you. Uh, one of the things that I want to mention to you, nope, I did that. I did that, okay. So before I close today, I have to tell you one other thing that came up that, no, not that either. Can't do it. I know. Moosey is reminding me right now that I better close because I have to get him all spruced up for our weekend visit with the grandchildren and our son and Sabrina. My, this is Mikey, our son Mikey and Sabrina. And he says that I better fix him up, give him a haircut and get some new clothes on him and spruce him up so he doesn't look like something that the cat dragged in. <laughs> Well, the minute that I heard him say that, guess what I thought of? My dear mother again. You know, we talked a lot last week, and I love these nostalgic moments. We talked a lot last week about our mothers and how we've become our mothers. And yes, I have become my mother, and I'm reminded of, a, of that quite often. And by the way, that's not a bad thing. She was a great lady, but that, Cat, you look like something that the cat dragged in. I know my mother and father both said that. Every once in a while, if you remember little sayings like that, why don't you jot them down in your comments? Because it's fun to remember those sayings. And do people still talk like that now? I don't know. So thank you again. I hope you enjoyed my little fashion show. And I hope that, uh, I know a lot of you will say, gee, but we can't buy those things. Well, you, you can pick up 
your um, your your pants and your shirts and and your bags and maybe your sh your shoes. And I'm I do this because. Number one, um, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go out and keep buying new clothes. Moosey particularly likes the idea that I don't do that. And I have so much that I can show you from my own wardrobe that you can get ideas from. You know, I, I love thrifting. I love consignment shops, finding vintage clothes. You can find things like this blazer. Don't be afraid to go to thrift shop. Don't be intimidated for heaven's sakes. You don't have to spend a lot of money to look like a million bucks. So thank you so much for watching and commenting. Thank you for your love and your caring. And until we meet again, God bless us all. And thank you, dear Lord, for all our blessings.